Nimisha, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today I'm going to show you how you can resolve the error opening hive split 503 S3 slowdown error in Amazon Athena. Let's get started. We usually face the 503 S3 slowdown error when we exceed the per second per prefix limits in an Amazon simple storage service bucket. By default, we can send up to 3500 put or copy or post or delete requests or 5500 get or head requests per second per prefix to an S3 bucket. If you receive 503 slowdown errors during the first few runs of the query, this could also be because of the gradual scale up nature of S3 requests. To resolve this error, we can undertake one of the following three methods. First, let's consider distributing the S3 objects and the requests made among multiple prefixes. To do so, partition your data in S3. The second method is to reduce the number of files in S3 by merging small files to reduce the number of requests made. For example, we can use the S3 dist CP tool on an Amazon EMR cluster to merge a large number of small files. Here are the steps to run S3 dist CP on your EMR cluster. First, log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon EMR console. Then create a new cluster according to your requirements or select your already running cluster. The process to create a cluster will take around 7 to 10 minutes. When the cluster is in the waiting stage, select connect to the master node using SSH and enter this command on the terminal of your system to establish a connection with the EMR master node. When you have connected into the master node using SSH successfully, run an S3 disk CP command to merge files based on your requirements. For example, my S3 bucket has a number of CSV files that I want to merge based on their names. And make sure that if possible, the merged files are greater than 128 MB each. In this case, I'll run the following command. As you can see, my CSV files have been merged. Here is the third method. Use the CloudWatch 5xx errors metric and S3 server access logs to find if other applications such as Spark or Glue were using the same S3 prefix when you ran the Athena query. If you see an anomaly in these logs, then avoid scheduling applications to access the same S3 prefix at the same time. For example, if the logs show you that you received the error for less number of requests, then consider providing backoffs between subsequent queries to allow S3 to scale up gradually. So now you know how to resolve the error opening hive split 503 S3 slowdown error in Athena. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.